This will be just a quick note on your fenders. Uh, now, if you purchase the primered fender like this one, uh, what you need to do before you paint it, all you need to do is just scuff it a little bit with some real fine sandpaper or like a 3M pad. Uh, and use wet or dry paper if you can. This is the wet or dry, it's usually the black type stuff. And be sure and wet it a little bit and then sand the fender just lightly. Don't go through the primer, just sand it smooth and then it should be ready to paint. Okay, then we'll go over the uh, bare aluminum with for fender. Now on the paint, uh, I don't know if you want to use like Rust-Oleum or one of those uh, aerosol can paints from the hardware store because if you spill gasoline on them, they, it'll eat the paint. So you want to use a better quality paint. Uh, you know, you may want to check out uh, if you're going to do your bike in like a, a satin flat black or I think they sell colors too. The John Deere Tractor Company sells a paint called Blitz. It's a B-L-I-T-Z. A lot of guys are using the Blitz, especially for the black. Uh, it's, it's designed to go on the tractors, and it's supposed to be really durable. And I guess it sprays on really nice, and it's even uh, available in uh, aerosol cans. So anyway, try to use a little better quality paint than just the uh, stuff from uh, like Walmart. So anyway, let's go on to the aluminum fender. Okay, now we'll go ahead and do the, your fender lightly before we send it to you and give it kind of a brushed finish. And the way we do it is we use it like a 3M pad. These are like those, um, well, they're a flexible pad that have an abrasive in them. And one thing you can use too, either a 3M pad or some fine wet or dry paper. And you may, you know, if you've got a little deeper scratches, you may want to use the paper first and then the 3M pad. And then one other thing you can do if you can't get a 3M pad is the, they sell these at the grocery store. These are these little pot scrubbers. They work good too. So anyway, what you want to do is you want to wet it in some soapy water and then just rub the fender lengthwise. That way you'll get rid of all your scratches. Make sure you keep it nice and wet. And that way you'll get the uh, nice grain finish on there. So anyway, that you know, you can experiment with the bottom. You can also experiment with the bottom of the fender because it won't show. So anyway, there you have it.